place. <sighs> Auntie's workshop. It was supposedly closed after she stepped down from her position in the tribe. But it appears that we've all been deceived. Why are there people up ahead? <sighs> if you're up to shady business, you have to hire shady people to help you. Let's go, don't right. hesitate. Let's finish this fast.
Our system seems to still be functioning. Let's go look for the controls and get this cart running again. Maybe it can take us further inside. All right, let's keep going. You got here quick. Impressive. Nechka's up there! What are you planning to do to her? I never lied to you. All this time, I've only been trying to save my daughter. Even though she's not my daughter yet. But once everything is over, she will really become my Nechka. What is she saying? 
Is she not Nechka? So you figured it out. I want to use memories to awaken my Nechka. She has stayed in the Night Kingdom for far too long. She's afraid of the dark and cold. I'm the one who made her stay there alone, so I must bring her back. Don't worry, Nechka. Mom hasn't forgotten anything. She has always remembered your name. <sighs> I'm afraid so. Then, who's that girl lying up there? She's a child from my tribe. Her parents were killed in the same abyss attack. But wouldn't you know it, her birthday is the same as that of my Nechka. I raised her and took care of her for many years. I thought that taking her in would help me feel better. I was so happy the first time she was willing to call me mom. But then, I suddenly felt very, very scared. Is she really my child? My child's name is Nechka. It could only be Nechka. How could I be happy? M my little Nechka is still waiting for me. Waiting for me to get her home. As I said, I only want to bring Nechka back. Even if it costs me everything. And now, the time has come for me to pay. As for my useless ancient name, <laughs> it's finally time to put it to good use. If you're not willing to help me, then you can become the fuel for Nechka's ancient name. <sighs> Shilonin, you have yet to make a move. I take it you're examining the inscriptions around you. It's no use. I've already set up the blaze gem inscriptions, and the engraving diagram has already begun to run. It's all thanks to your ideas. Now, the central inscription will finally become Nechka's ancient name. After Nechka returns, I'll make sure to invite you to her birthday party. You're... you're not gonna go up there, are you? There's a flaw in this engraving diagram. The weak point is almost about to activate, so on my mark. Don't worry, Nechka. Don't worry. Mom is here. Three! Mom will always be with you. I'll never forget you. Two! Wake up, Nechka. Now. Please, wake up. One! It's all right. It's all right. You'll see mommy soon. Nechka. Keep back. Those are distorted thoughts. In the mists are the thoughts twisted cries. If you become tainted by them, they will control you, and you'll never be free again. Where are you? I don't want medicine. It hurts. It hurts. Why am I alone? Nechka, why? No more medicine. Will you stay with me forever? Please never leave me again. Telesoli, you're the one who twisted Nechka's name into a shackling prison. It's time for you to hear her true voice. Stone engraved, and echoing peaks. Converge, disperse, in ashes be reborn. 
for flames born anew, and the blazing dawn. Mommy will be with you, Nechka. Always and forever. <gasps> Mommy, I've always been with you. And now you're finally listening to me. The old births the new. As flowers shield the roots, so life ever cycles until we return to the land. We've known each other a while, but we've never met. You... you're... Nechka? Yes. But I still don't know your name. My name's... Napeka. <laughs> it really suits you. <sighs> Nepeka. I bless you from the past. And wish that every day of your future will be filled with peace and happiness. I saw Nechka and was speaking with her, but now... Where? Where did she go? Nechka? Nechka? Where are you? Answer, Mommy! Please! Please! Shilonin, you saw her too, didn't you? You saw my little Nechka! I felt her hands and hugged her. I was right. I was right! Those gray shadows were just a minor mistake. I just need to restart the ritual again. All right, I'll start it again and Nechka will... Have you still not come to your senses, Auntie? Hmm? What senses? I was not wrong. Nothing about what happened was wrong. She's just a little upset and was trying to ignore me. That child sure knows how to throw a tantrum. But, but I understand. I can accept that. Enough, Tlasoli! The person you summoned with the Blaze Gem inscription wasn't the real Nechka at all! You collected memories of Nechka from countless people, but you forgot one thing. Among what you gathered were not only real memories, but also countless emotions. Didn't you realize what kind of emotions people would feel upon seeing Nechka's condition? When people held a dying child's hand, when they felt her faint breath and saw the helplessness in her eyes, when they sensed her body growing colder and colder. What could they feel but abject pain and sorrow? I... I took those emotions. You absorbed those emotions into the Blaze Gem inscriptions and solidified them as a piece of her past. Those gray figures were projections of that past. They could only reproduce the appearance of Nechka in her sickly state. What the real Nechka wished to say was drowned out by those twisted and painful thoughts. I... I didn't want things to turn out like this. All I wanted was to remember Nechka, to see her again. Nechka has always been with you, Auntie. Everything has long been recorded on your ancient name. The one you said was useless. You exhausted every option and sacrificed everything in the hopes of saving your daughter. That, that is undeniable. But have you forgotten the true meaning of your own ancient name? My ancient name is Undugu. The immovable love between you and Nechka has already been recorded in your ancient name, but you chose to ignore that. Names are blessings from the past to the future. You, you told me that, Auntie. 
You gave Nechka her name, her first blessing. But now you've turned her name into a prison by taking an innocent child captive, and you've imprisoned yourself. Nechka is everything to me. Without her, I can't see any future for me. And as for blessings... <laughs> what blessings have I had since the day she passed? I see her in my dreams every day, grasping my hand, telling me she's in pain, asking me to hold her. But I can't say anything. I can't grasp her hand. All I can do is chat her name over and over again until I wake up. Every day, every single day, I've hated myself and ancient names too. Who knows, maybe hate would have been the only thing left to her too. You think Nechka would have come to hate you? Auntie, do you still remember the last words Nechka ever said to you? Do you remember what her final words really were? I... I... The reason you haven't felt blessed is because you've forgotten the true past. Auntie, you've been wallowing in memories of your imagination and refused to let go of them. A name without a past is nothing but a withered tree with no roots, rotting without a future. It's over, Auntie. It's all over now. I... Uh, slowly now. Why don't you stay lying down? Oh, on second thought, this might not be the best place to rest. Shilon and... Nechka... Uh, Nepecha... Can already stand now. So we made our way over. Thank you, Paimon and Mr. Traveler. I'm fine, really. The real Nechka helped me just now, so it doesn't hurt much anymore. That's good. If you became Nechka, then this story would really become the To Kill the Brave. This isn't the place to chat. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, don't worry. She won't be able to cause any more trouble now. I've locked Auntie in the house with a few ropes. I'll take her to the tribe shortly to be punished for what she did. As for now, we can get away from the house and get some sun. After dealing with all of that, I'm completely out of energy. She's already planned out everything. She alone sure doesn't waste time. Oh, it's still so scary to imagine. Tosoli wanted to turn her adopted child into Nechka, and she even nearly succeeded! Yeah, she was so cool in the final moments, she went right into action and took control of the situation instantly! Well, it's all thanks to Nempeka's resilience. She never gave up. If it weren't for her bravely trying to get help, then I wouldn't have noticed Auntie's plan so easily. It was thanks to all of you encouraging me. After all, this was already the last idea I could think of. I tried to get the attention of many others who visited before, but they were all either quickly whisked away by Tlasoli or simply refused to believe me. Even if I told them everything, Tlasoli would just blame my illness to cover it up. All she had to do was start to cry, and then the guest would try to comfort her. 
but completely forget about me. She would inspect all the letters I sent and any gifts I received. And then, if I didn't comply, she would force me to drink some strange medicine. It would put me to sleep for a few days, and it would be hard for me to remember anything. I would see a lot of weird things while I slept, and the walls around me would start talking. I would be so scared every day. If I wasn't able to get your help this time, I might have just given up. You have us now, Napeka. If anyone dares to hurt you again, the Traveler and Shilonim will send them flying! Y yeah Sorry, I... I just can't help it. You are already super brave, and you even managed to call Shilonin for help. Oh, you definitely found the right person. Shilonin isn't the kind of person who gets distracted easily by crying. She pays attention when someone's talking and doesn't miss a beat. And it was because of your help that I was able to pick up on the details. Without you, it would have been extremely difficult for her to communicate that she needed help. Soli would certainly be more on guard if I tried to speak with her, and would probably have just kept Napeka locked up in a room again. So we had a part to play too! But where did Tlasoli even get the confidence to try this scheme? When Nechka was alive, surely many tribe members would have tried to help her. Was she not scared that someone would realize that Napeka wasn't Nechka? That's certainly a possibility. The inscription she created would not only collect information related to Nechka's past, but also actively erase people's memories of Nechka. It's uh, similar to graffiti. If you want to paint something new on a wall that has been painted before, then first you must remove the old painting. It's possible that I was also one of her targets, which would explain why she was so willing to let me have the central inscription. Whoa, and you still took it? If it were Paimon, she would have thrown that thing away the first chance she had! Well, you can't uncover the truth without taking some risks, right? If I hadn't disassembled the inscription myself, I would have never realized her actual motives. So you suspected her from the very beginning? Oh, no, she's my auntie after all. How could I have seen her as a villain from the start? The most I did was keep the possibility and a corresponding plan in mind, and it was just our luck that the worst-case scenario actually happened. But now that I look back on it, we still managed to rescue a suffering child, even if that wasn't our original intention. Anyway, I think we've just about summarized everything and praised each other enough by now. <sighs> Everything is finally over, and Napeka can finally be herself. So, what should I do now, Shalonin? You should do whatever you like, of course. No one's going to lock you up anymore. But I... I don't know what I can do. Everything I know is about Nechka. What she'd like to eat, which flowers she enjoyed, how she acted and spoke? I'm not her, but... I can only be like her. I, I don't know, Shalonin. I just don't know. Oh, don't worry, Nabeka. The Blaze Gem inscription isn't working anymore. No one will force you to be somebody else again. But I no longer remember anything about myself now besides my name. What if I never remember my life, and lose all of my past? Uh, I'm scared, Chilonin! <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> oh, don't cry, Napeka. Hmm. 
here, take this. I took some ore from Tlesoli's collection and made this as a mold. A blaze gem inscription! You can make them too? Oh, of course not. It's just a pretty piece of stone. Take it. I've engraved your name, Napeka, on the top. This, this is your first blessing. The one you received from a pair of people who loved you with all their hearts. It has always protected you and stood over you. For all of past, present, and future, it's never strayed far. But I don't even remember the names of my parents. I, I don't remember anything. Huh. Uh, I won't make any big promises and say everything will return to normal. I'm not sure what kind of future you will face. I can only promise that no matter what the future holds, your name will never fade. This is a blessing given to you by a name engraver. You'll continue to grow and mature as a sapling sprouts upward and becomes a healthy tree, or as birds spread their wings to fly high into the sky. Your name is your starting point, as well as your guide. Remember your name and everything you've experienced, and you'll know how to step into your future. I... I'll do my best. You can do it, Nepeka! Thank you all. Shalonen, Paimon, and Mr. Traveler. If you really can't come up with what to do, don't worry. Just relax and take it easy. We're from the same tribe after all. If nothing else works, I can always go to the elders and look up your history. And until then, you can stay at my workshop. I can handle another mouth to feed. Oh, I don't know if the plan will work. I'm not even sure who I should look for. Rather than placing our hopes on a plan that relies so heavily on luck, we should just focus on ourselves. Well, anyway, enough about all that for now. Let me take Tlesoli back to the tribe first. Oh, uh, come with me, Napeka. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I nearly forgot that we haven't even had dinner yet. What would you like to eat? Huh? Oh, anything. I'm not picky. Oh, good. Let's go. We have a lot of work to do. We have a very busy future ahead of us. Oh, and, uh, one more thing. Happy birthday, Napeka. Here, everything's been taken care of now. I was just about to go have a rest. Well, the tribe is still discussing that. I mean, not many have ever used ancient names to commit a crime. <laughs> Pakal will have a lot on his plate. What I do know is that Tlisoli's workshop will be closed permanently, and any remaining incomplete blaze gem inscriptions will be completely destroyed. And as for the completed place gem inscriptions, I'll be handling them, which, whew, yeah, yet another hassle to deal with. <sighs> anyway, at least her ancient name is fine. Otherwise, we'd have a real mess on our hands. Oh, and speaking of ancient names, I actually have some good news. The memories that were absorbed by the blaze gem inscriptions can be restored to their owners. Now, once all the blaze gem inscriptions stop working, the memories will return to their respective owners. Yeah, that's right. 
Huh. Wait, now that I think about it, in her attempt to get Nishka to come back, Auntie made the entire tribe forget about her. Now, Nechka really is gone, but everyone is about to remember her. Oof, what a bizarre turn of events. She's resting in my workshop. I contacted others from the tribe and told them about my plan to conduct an official investigation into her history. The tribe hasn't responded yet, so I'm planning to take her in for now and teach her some crafting skills. But that's for another time. For now, she should just rest and sleep. After all, she's got a busy future ahead of her.